Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome to Cooking with Crow, the show where I share all of my top secret recipes that I got off of Google. And by no means own, please don't sue me. I don't actually know where this recipe came from, but it was one of the first ones that I ever looked up. I have no formal cooking training or anything. I just decided one day that I was like, you know what? Cooking's just following recipes, so I could do that. And then I tried it, and I did. Unfortunately, I don't know who to credit for today's recipe, because I tried, I just typed in banana bread recipe and I went through the whole first three pages of results. I didn't see it. Maybe you'll recognize the UI and let me know and I will credit them in the description. But this is what it looks like on my phone. I don't know what this layout is from. So as far as required-ish tools slash utensils go, we need a 9 by 5 inch bread pan, which is 22.86 centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. Though to be honest, I'm pretty sure if you put the bread in any pan other than a bread pan, it'll still be bread. It'll just be bread in a different container. So if you don't happen to have one of those and you can't get one, I wouldn't really worry about it. Another very useful thing to have is a potato smasher because we're going to need to mash the bananas in order to get them in, and it's a lot easier. However, you could just use a fork if you don't have one. And after that, it's just bowls of varying sizes. All right, for the ingredients, which I already showed on screen, I threw these into a metric converter, so I'm not sure how accurate these are, but... 2 cups of flour, which is 256 grams, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, which is 5 grams, a quarter teaspoon of salt, which is 1.25 grams, a half a cup of butter, which is 113 grams, 3 fourths cup of brown sugar, which is 165 grams. If your brown sugar happens to be hard like mine is, then you can put a damp paper towel over it and then put it in the microwave and microwave it for about 30 seconds. And you might have to do it more than once. I had to do it three times to get it to stop sticking together this time. Two eggs beaten, and two and a third cups mashed over ripe bananas, which would be 298 grams. I do not follow this measurement. It is the best ingredient, and as such, we must add more of it. This is the deviation in the recipe. The bananas we're using today also won't be overripe, but that's never really mattered before. You should, if you can, wait for them to be overripe, but people tend to eat them before they get to that overripe point, so I just make do with the yellow bananas. However, they are sweeter if you wait for them to brown up. I believe the recipe originally called for two small bananas, but when I started making it, I used four large bananas. However, if you use that many bananas, it doesn't cook all the way through in the middle before it burns around the outside because there's too much moisture in it. So I found a pretty happy medium at three bananas. You're going to want to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 175 degrees Celsius and also to lightly grease the pan with something like this. In one bowl, we're going to mix the dry ingredients flour, baking soda, and salt. Then in another bowl, we're gonna put the butter and the brown sugar together. Then you take the eggs that we whisked together earlier, and you put those in with the butter and the brown sugar, and you mix that in. Then you add the mashed bananas, and you blend that in. Once that's well blended, you can just dump that into the flour mixture and stir that around to moisten it. And lastly, you just pour it into the bread pan. This part you might want a friend for, because it can get really heavy trying to scrape all the banana bread stuff out of there while also holding the bowl up at that really weird angle. At that point, you just throw it into the oven in the middle and you stick it in there for what the recipe says is 60 to 65 minutes, which is horribly wrong. Possibly because I use more bananas than they recommend. But for what we're doing here, if you're going to use the same three bananas that I am, I would say at 40 to 45 minutes, check it every couple minutes. It's done when you can stick a toothpick into the center of the bread and it comes out clean. When it's done, you just set the pan down to cool for 10 minutes. And then, it is food. And so it came to pass that we did a thing with cooking and banana bread. And we, we ran out of toothpicks, because people go through them like crazy. I had to use chopsticks to see if this was done. I almost burnt the sides of it because I was running around the house trying to find something I could use in place of that. It's super moist and banana-y, which is what I was going for. Whenever you get banana bread, I want it to be banana bread, not bread with banana. Banana leads. But anyway, I should also apologize for that last shot because I was waiting a long time for it, so I ended up forgetting and I wasn't thinking about it. Whenever I get the banana bread, since I make them, I usually eat the top off of them because that's like the best part. And then I ate the top off of it, and I was like, oh, I didn't, oh, I screwed up. This was the first time I've ever had to make a video like this. 
And it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, especially since nobody was around to help me. There was a lot of things I wanted to do that I couldn't because nobody else was around. Hopefully it still goes over okay-ish. My hands are like naturally shaky too, so I imagine that didn't help on my phone. And I was trying to focus it. It's really hard to do when you're trying to do something with one hand and then is it was fun. I'm glad I, I'm glad I, I got around to it. I was originally going to do this for like a 500 subscriber milestone because I thought I was doing them too often, but I was like, who even knows if, we're, if or when we're going to get the 500, so 400, that, that's pretty special. If we do get to 500 though, I'll do the cheesecake one. Anyhow, it'd be neat if you try it out. It really is easy. At the bare bones, all you need is a pan that you can put in the oven, bowls, and a fork. And the ingredients are all cheap around the house stuff. Like, the only thing I had to go to the store to buy was bananas. Because baking soda lasts forever unless you bake all the time. So it's like really, really cost efficient to be able to make this like in bulk. If you want to make more though, it is important to note, put them on the same level of the oven, on the same rack. If you put one above the other one, it, the heat's going to be distributed weird and it's not going to cook properly. Anyhow, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it and banana bread. Later, everybody.